Hey, you all. Uh, welcome back to It's May Day, and uh, we are here today in our home, free as a bird. No kids. And we think we're going to be kid-free for at least, at the bare minimum, two weeks, maybe even three. Yeah, we are. Uh, we we just came like back from yeah I I do baby I do it okay sorry I'm a little distracted you know it's funny as I saw her here for the first time when I was out of town and she showed it to me over Skype and I was like ah eh, I don't know but it looks beautiful baby it does okay listen Lee doesn't even know I want to discuss this but we promised we would really try to keep it real on it's May Day so I want to talk about why I wasn't speaking to my husband for at least two days. Now, I'm striving for Team Robin on this, so I don't think anybody's going to disagree with me. on this. Now, now, you guys got to know, I mean seriously not speaking, like not speaking. Well, Team Lee, you'll understand that I'm right, and I don't know what she's talking about, but go ahead and go. You do know what I'm talking about. Okay, so you don't know why I wasn't speaking to you? I, don't know. I know why you weren't speaking okay. to me, but go ahead. Okay, so this is what happened. I, my girls went swimming, like, I think it was on Sunday. Well, my in-loves, we call them in love because we married by love and not by law. So my in-loves were coming in town, and the girls went swimming on Sunday. Now, we weren't sure if, our, if my in-loves were going to stay here or if they were going to stay with my sister-in-love, Keisha. So Monday, when they're, I'm at work, slaving at work. Lee's at home chilling with the kids. I'm not chilling with the kids. He had our girls and Donovan, our nephew. So Three he's, kids. So he's chill. Now, you got to remember, Donovan is to eight. So he. Ten. Okay. That makes it worse. He is occupying the children. Okay, so whatever. So my in laws come in town, and Lee tells me, baby, they're about two hours away. Well, I said, oh my God, honey, I'm not going to get home until late because I was going out to hang with my girls. So I said, I'm not going to get home until late. Please clean the guest room tub. She didn't say clean, number one. Remember the, girls had, clean. remember the girls had gone swimming. So the tub looked like some basketball players or football players had been in. It was ridiculous. And so I said, baby, please, if they're going to, this is what I said, if they're going to stay with us, clean the tub because I can't have your mom. Now, let me go back. Now, my mother-in-law is cool as a fan. Like, I don't, ha my mother-in-law and my father-in-law in love. I don't have any of the in love drama that people have. So, as cool as the fan as they are, you don't want your mother-in-law seeing your tub looking crazy like that. So I said, honey, please clean the tub. Stop. She said, honey, please pull back the curtains on the, club, on the tub so that they can't see that it's dirty. That's what she told me. That's, that's what, what I, said. I heard. I said, and that's what I did. Okay. I said, if they're going to stay here, please clean the tub. Oh. So I get home. First of all, I get home at 11 o'clock that night. So they already were probably thinking, what is a married woman with kids coming home at 11 o'clock for? But I came home. My in-laws are upstairs. My husband's downstairs. So I come in the room, and I'm whispering, honey, did you clean the tub? His response. Go ahead. Say what you said. I don't know. No. He said, uh, no, my, it's okay. My mother cleaned it. You mean to tell me my mother in law has had to drive 12 hours from Texas. She gets to our house and has to clean the tub? When I tell y'all, I was not speaking to him because it's a reflection on me. His All right, All right. Uh, enough of that. Okay, yeah, his mother uh, is not looking uh, at him. She's looking at me saying, what kind of housekeeper is and she? And I explained it to her. I said she ba the girls went swimming the night before. It was late when they got home. She put her in the bed in the tub real quick and put them to bed, and we have been running ever since. So she didn't. And so I cleaned it up. I mean, you know, that's understandable. So when when she came in and she said, I was like, oh, Mom, we were supposed to do it. But, you know, and she understood. She just cleaned it and then put the kids in the tub to give them a bath. So, you know, things happen. Sometimes you're not a bad mama. My mama don't think you're a bad mama. It is what it is, get over it, now let's move on. I wasn't speaking to him for two days. Let's move on. Let's just say this. I wasn't speaking to him so bad. Two of my friends had questions for him, and I told them I can't get them answered because I'm not speaking to him. All right, so here's the deal. This is what we need help from, from everybody on this Mayday. And it's four minutes and 40 seconds in, and we're just now getting to <laughs> what we need help with. Okay, go ahead, baby. So, anyway. I need to know what people think, because seriously, I think I'm right on this. And so anyway, okay, so here's the deal. So my husband and I want help. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. 
we I have a date a day that I am going to schedule a date for us. How whatever kind of date I want. Lee has a day. You know you have a day. I know I have a that day. he's gonna schedule whatever kind of date he wants us to do. But we also want a third date, and we want you guys to help us with that. What should we do here in Atlanta? We're not leaving Atlanta. The Cab County. We can leave the Cab County. We, we can, can leave, leave the Cab. Okay. We stay in the metro area. Okay. We'll even travel. An hour or two. We will travel an hour and a half away. Ooh, that's a, okay, this is so exciting. So we need help planning a really romantic, fun date, like a whole day. Like we can leave as early as we want to and just plan a whole day where we just really hang out and enjoy each other. So we want you guys to give us some suggestions on what we should do for our romantic time without our children. And remember... The Mays are balling on the budget. Okay, we're balling. <laughs> yeah, let me just say budget. that. Okay, so we need something that that That's we're feasible. not right that we can't pay the mortgage with next week. Is that month a bug? No, it's not a bug. Okay, we need you to a feasible, get a feasible plan. <laughs> yes, a reasonably. But you know, reasonable baby is relative. It, it doesn't have to be cheap. But you know, it, it you know it shouldn't be our mortgage note, okay? Let's put it like that. It shouldn't be our car note, okay? It shouldn't be our health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> we pay for. Yes. But how about that? How about that? Let's give a budget. As a matter of fact, Let's give a budget. How we want you. That's it. We want you to try and do it as inexpensive as possible. As free as possible. But well. as fun as possible too. So that's that's a challenge for you, okay? Help us out. This is going to be so much fun, and we'll tell y'all all about what right. we do. And the winner gets a free iPad. No, I'm just playing. No, they don't get it. Oh, I know. The winner. Here we go. Shameless plug. Uh, Janine, this is for you, because Janine, Brian, you know Janine. Yeah, we went I know Janine. She said she was laughing at my shameless plug the last time. So here's the shameless plug. I am getting ready to launch a couple's, um, well, not even just couple's. It's going to be a teleseminar for anybody. Anybody can participate in it. And... If you win the best date, you get to come to the teleseminar for half off. I like that. Meaning you get to call in to the teleseminar. Well, okay. You're not coming to a teleseminar. You're calling in. It's a tele, tele, T-E-L-E. Can, can, can y'all help us? Yeah. Valued at the uh, price of how much? Well, we're waffling on that. I want to say $197. Anyway, that'll be $200 that you won't have to pay and you'll get the benefits. No, you don't have to pay. You'll get half off. Oh, I'm sorry. Half off. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it should be free, but, you know, but we'll do half off. Okay. Half off of, you know. Tell them. Yeah. Okay. Tell them that you call in. Matt. You don't. Okay. okay. This is not going to be an infomercial for the tell seminar, but it's going to be hot. Y'all want to participate. I agree. I agree. Cause so. Wonderfully and beautifully talented in what you do. He's talking noise because the kids are gone, but what he don't know is I'm about to go. we've been talking for eight minutes, and I'm What he don't to know is I'm about to go to sleep because i got to wake up in the morning. Okay, y'all. Yeah, team Lee, call in, in for me, okay? I need your help. All right, guys. I we're so it. Okay. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, y'all. Bye.